everyone and welcome to another vlog. Today we're going to be going out doing our grocery shopping and apparently it's hectic because everybody is prepping for the coronavirus in case they have to be self-isolated and we do have friends who work at our local hospital and it looks like they have a case there. So we're not going to go full on prep but we are going to be buying extras of things that we need such as baby milk. We have enough toilet roll because I buy all that on Amazon and I have about a hundred rolls in my garage but yeah we're just gonna be smart and buy extras of what we need and you're gonna be coming along we're now in home bargains and this is a great place to buy your tins packets and jars but it's super busy in here they're out of hand sanitizer they were one pound 29 each and they had a max two per customer Another product that they have sold out of is Harpic Power Plus, which was 99p. They are also out of Fabulosa Disinfectant Spray, which was 89p, and Dettol Disinfectant Spray, which was 199 They also have low stock on antibacterial surface wipes, and these were two for a pound. In the toilet roll aisle, they have limited stock of Nikki Elite. You get nine rolls for £2.29, but they have lots of kitchen towels. You can get six for £1.99. Then they have this large kitchen roll for £1. But they do have limited stock of Andrex and the washlets. So the own brand washlets, which were two for £1, are out of stock but they do have the Andrex ones. I'm surprised people aren't picking up certain items in these shops because if you're stocking up for yourself, that's all well and good. But what about your animals? Cat food and dog food? These aren't going. Oh, that's good. It's a place. Not that's yet, good. but I bet you they will. We personally like to stock up on tins, packets and jars in home bargains because they're a lot cheaper than the supermarket. Take this for example. This is a family value pack of Uncle Ben's Sweet and Sour. These in the supermarkets are around £2.30, but in here this is only £1. And this Uncle Ben's medium curry is £1.80 in the supermarkets, only £1 here. Now, a lot of people think it's because they're coming up to their best before date, but that is not the case because these are good until the 20th of the 5th, 21. They also have quite a lot of cereal, which is good to stock up on. And the prices are a lot cheaper than the supermarket, so you can get these Weetos for £1.99 for a big family pack, where these are around £3.50 elsewhere. They even have gluten-free cornflakes. We're now going to have a look in Iceland Food Warehouse because apparently people are stocking up on frozen food, so I'm just going to have a little gander. So far they have a shortage on bottled water and dog beds these were on offer for £4.79 but if you want Walker's crisps they have loads they have limited stock on selected bird's eye food but this could be because there's an offer you can get any free for £6 food wise they have lots of frozen food in here I think the problem is a lot of people are going to the traditional supermarkets and panicking there so if you do want to stock up on food definitely check out places like Home Bargains, B&M and Iceland Food Warehouse but they do have a shortage on toilet roll so all the brand stuff is pretty much gone but they do have this Petal Soft Luxury which is £1.50 we're now having a look in Morrison's. Before you even get in the store, hand sanitizers are currently limited to two per customer. I'm buying this beef lasagna. It's free from gluten, wheat and dairy and it's delicious. This is for kids because it's a mini size but this is perfect for me. And these are two pounds each. And they also have this cottage pie which I haven't tried yet. So I'm gonna give that a whirl. There's definitely not a shortage on toilet paper here in Morrison's. You can get 16 rolls for eight pounds. This is a better offer on toilet roll. You can get this jumbo pack of velvet and you get 24 rolls for only six pounds. And as you can see, someone has dumped the Andrex in favor of the cheaper option. 
if you're gluten free like myself they have gluten free pasta this is down from £1.20 to only 60p a packet but as you can see most of it is gone off the shelf so we're going to get the final four Recently I took to my Instagram to ask you guys what are the best nappies for baby boys and you guys said to try the nutmeg ones at Morrison's. These are only £1.40 for 33 so I'm going to give them a go because I'm having a big issue. Basically, Cloud will pee in his nappy and it will be soaking wet like after half an hour and he hates it when it's wet, obviously anyone would. So I'm trying to find one what is good for little boys so you know good protection at the front so I'm going to give these a go but if you have any recommendations I've tried Lidl, Pampers, Aldi, Asda, Asda. didn't like Asda, I tried those a few days ago. We had Tesco to start with as well didn't we? Yeah Tesco was the worst out of the lot but we'll give these a go if there's any I've missed let me know in the comments below. The only thing they have a massive shortage on in Morrison's is painkillers and hand sanitizer. I get a lot of messages on Instagram asking what do I use to calm myself down if I'm having an autistic meltdown or I'm really anxious in public and I use this, it's Nitol Herbal Elixir, it's £4.80 for a bottle and this stuff is amazing, it is nothing like the tablets. The tablets have no effect on me but this stuff is potent and it calms you down instantly so if you suffer with anxiety definitely give this a whirl. All we are getting in at Morrison's is the nappies, a gluten-free cake for a treat, some gluten-free bread, pasta and some baby cartons. Opposite the retail park there's a Lidl so we're now going to have a look in there but while we were shopping in Morrison's a lady approached Callum to ask if he had the coronavirus because he had his mask up and he just explained he's trying to protect himself from any viruses not just the coronavirus and she turned around and said if she wants something in a supermarket she just coughs in the aisle so people move and she's been able to buy hand sanitizer, toilet roll, everything she needs but I think that's very selfish to do that and that scares people as well i think she's quite blatant to say that but it is a life hack i guess a coronavirus life hack anyway let's go and have a look in little they definitely don't have a shortage of tins packets and jars at my local Lidl but let me know in the comments below what is it like in your area because i hear a lot of the supermarkets in the cities are basically skin and bones. They have some random stuff in the middle of Lidl including these neck cushions. This is a dinosaur one and it comes with a hood so you can block out the light and get a good sleep and it even has a little button and they also have a unicorn and a bear. These are $6.99 each. If you're looking to buy a label maker they have these brother ones for only $19.99 I think that is a real good price. This is the first time I've seen 4K Ultra HD 55 inch TVs in the middle of Lidl. And these are £399. They even have this soundbar home theatre system and this is £79.99. There seems to be limited stock of toilet roll but as you can see they still have plenty. They even have pop vinyls in here now, including the Fortnite Special Editions and these are £7.49 each. Most people are stocking up their trolleys, this is all we have. We always get asked if we use reusable bags and we do because Callum is walking out of Lidl with an M&S bag. We have a bag cupboard, does anyone else have that? A cupboard in their kitchen which is full of carrier bags. We only went in Lidl to have a look to see if people were panic buying because apparently a lot of Lidl stores around the country are actually struggling to get stock in because people are going crazy but there was plenty of stock in there. So we're now about to head to Tesco to finish off our grocery shopping. I'm guessing we don't have a lot of panic buying because we haven't had any confirmed cases yet whereas I was speaking to my friend who lives in Nottingham and he said there was no toilet roll, there was no hand sanitizer, no soup, there was nothing in his local Asda so 
I'm guessing when we have some confirmed cases, which I'm guessing is soon, it will go crazy like the rest of the country. Our last shop of the day is Tesco. As soon as you come in, they have an anti-back station where you can wipe down your trolley and the hand scanners. This is interesting. Apparently they have price matched a lot of products to Aldi. If you like chocolate, they have half price Easter eggs, only 75p for mini eggs, cream egg and dairy milk. If you like Harry Potter, they have a new stationery range here at Tesco. You can get this pen and pencil set for three pounds. Also for three pounds, you can get this stationery set. You can get this hardback notebook for five pounds. Also for five pounds, you can get this pencil case and they have this bumper stationery set for 10 pounds. It's a bit reflective, there you go. We were just walking through the kitchen section and they have these alphabet glasses and they are so pretty. The camera doesn't do them justice, but they're £3.50 each. If you need some new straighteners, they have these better than half price for £32 and they're by Babyliss. There's definitely been panic in the hand wash section. There's hardly any left unless you want the most expensive Carex which is 190. There's also a shortage of baby wipes. There's none left. I wonder if people are buying baby wipes to wipe their hands with because there's no anti-back gel. Because I have an autoimmune condition, my doctors have recommended that I buy this because apparently it's the best stuff on the market. It's extra defense, vitamin C and zinc. And these are currently on offer in Tesco, free for two. This is a money saving tip for you, also a way to reduce plastic. These cucumbers are 57p each, but if you buy them loose, look how much cheaper they would be. So just go on here, a cucumber loose would be 25p. I've seen YouTubers such as Saffron Barker and Anastasia Kingsnorth eat only pink food for a day, but I never knew you could get pink salad dressing. This must be new. This is by Wicked Kitchen, exclusive to Tesco. So they do have a lot of empty spaces on the shelf. This is for sweet corn and tinned potatoes. And here a lot of the tuna has gone. Lots of chocolate, but clearly someone couldn't go without their Galaxy Ripple. Really Callum? This is the bulk buy section at Tesco and they have a few different packets of toilet roll but most of it is gone. I just don't understand why people haven't gone to other supermarkets or home bargains or B&M because this is ridiculous. They also have a shortage on toilet bleach. There's a pattern, most of the stores don't have any Dettol products. This is my favourite clean and product. It's only 30p and I love the smell of it. And this is just as good as Dettol and a fraction of the cost. I'm having a go at Callum because he's got massive holes in his coat and they have them half price here and it's exactly the same and he doesn't want to buy it. Put your arms up. Right, one side and the other. So I'm going to see how much this is half price and we're buying it. It's so heavy. What is it with you men? Let's see how much it is. Where's the scanner? I don't know. You keep hold of like boxer shorts with holes in. How much is it? 25 quid. Yeah, 25 quid. And hopefully that'll fit you because it's a medium. So we're getting it. We have Tesco Club Card Plus. I have worked with them in the past, but this is not sponsored. It's $7.99 a month, and it gives you 10% off two big shops each month. So if you shop at Tesco a lot, like we do, it's definitely worth it. Hopefully that scans. Hopefully it scans. Uh, we want to get home. Please scan. Hold on. Oh, of course. Oh, there, there we go. Hey. And, and that saved us £12.13. Now, like I've said before, we do our shopping and we stock up for about a month at a time. That's why it's so expensive. But we saved £12, so it was definitely worth 
having like the 7 99 subscription. So we're going to pay for this now and we're going to head off home. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe.